So yesterday I uploaded the second part of my Bad Weapons series, and a lot of you seem to enjoy the custom arm animations that I use in-game. And a lot of you were asking how to install them in the comments, so I figured I'd make a tutorial on how to install them. And I'll also include how to use them in casual, because it is possible. So the first step is to find the arm animations you want. So, say for instance I want these sniper animations. Now, I'll include all of the ones that I use in-game in the description, because a lot of you were asking for specifics. So, to just download it, uh, go to Game Banana. Then you're going to want to click the Manual Download button. And then... And this should install a zip file. Now, the next step is to... Go to the local files in your Team Fortress directory, and to do this, just right-click on Team Fortress in the library, manage, and then browse local files, it'll send you right here. Then in this TF folder, you want to make sure you have a custom folder. Now if you do not have a custom folder, you can just right-click, make a new folder, and make it a custom folder. Now inside this folder, we have all this. Now this is uh, the custom war paints that I work on. You can disregard that. The All this down here are my other mods. So what you want to do is you just want to take the file you just installed and plop it right in there and then it'll work in game. Now in order to make them work in casual, there's going to be a little extra step here. So, you're going to want to go back to the TF folder, and then to the config folder. And what you're going to want to do here is create new text document. And you want to name it autoexec.cfg. And then this will come up, you want to click yes, because it'll change it to a config file. Now inside of this file, uh, you can basically write any commands that you want to happen at the launch of the game. But what we want to do is we want to make it so the game launches, it gets put into a custom map so the custom animations are enabled, then we leave the custom match, and from then on they'll be able to be used in casual. So this series of commands will help us achieve that. So once you have that in there, you can just click save. And then the next step is to right click TF, click on properties. And then you're just going to want to write dash exec auto exec. And this launches that file. So all of those commands are done once we launch the game. And so you'll be able to see once I launch the game. And there we have it, the animations are used in-game. 